and welcome to Parents and Carrots. I'm Nancy Casanova and today I thought I would show you guys how I'm going to DNA sex the baby before I send the baby to its new home. Now, it's funny because a lot of people say, oh, I never got that bird DNA. I don't know what that bird is. I don't know, you know, if it's really a boy or a girl. I'm just assuming what it is. We just assume. Well, we don't have to assume anymore, guys. We can actually go to www.healthygenes.com order a kit, get it in like a few days, and all you gotta do is clip your parrot's nails, put it on, put it on a card like this, and all you do is write the parrot's ID, like the band, if they're banded, uh, the species, and of course your name. You put drops here, I think one gets one drop and one gets two drops, or a few drops, whatever in each corner. You're going to put it back in this envelope once it's dry. You have to leave it for 20 minutes to let it dry. Put it back in this envelope. Lock the envelope. Put the envelope in here with your information and then mail it off. So basically up here is your contact information. You're going to tell them the owner and breeder information. If it's a vet, then they fill out this part, but of course you're not going to the vet, so you're not going to do that. You fill out your phone number, your email address, and that's about it. Now, it has different tests here. I really wish that they would allow... Sorry, the, I'm where the birds are, so... Just to let you guys see what I have to deal with every single day, this is the type of noise that happens throughout my house throughout the day. So... Then they have all these different avian tests. So they check for the chlamydia, they check for beak and feather, they check for Pat's disease, <clears throat> um, they check for DNA fingerprinting family relation test. They also have the DNA sexing. I think that DNA fingerprinting family relation test is really, really good. I think a lot of breeders who are breeding should definitely do that to make sure that the birds that they're putting together are not related. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, the one that you can do at home is code A101, which is called Avian DNA Sexing. Sorry, I do have a cold, so if you guys can't understand everything I'm saying, it's because of my cold. There's three different, two different ways that you can do this test. You can do it through feathers, but that means yanking the feathers out of your parrot. And I don't know about you, but that seems inhumane to me because I don't want no one yanking anything out of my body. So I would say don't do that. And then of course, through the blood, which all you really do is cut a nail too short so it starts to bleed and then you can use that to um, put your drops on. So anyways, so you choose the test, you're gonna fill in the bird's information here also, and you're gonna click off which test it is. So in this case, as you can see, it's already highlighted, or bolded, I should say. It's already bolded, A101, but I would just click it anyways, and that was it. Um, so if you're a breeder, you might have more than one bird to test, and therefore then you would just fill out all the sample information there. So on the back, they give you the instructions. Now I'm going to briefly read you the feather instructions, even though, like I said, I think that's inhumane. But I'm going to read it to you anyways, just so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. It says, select only medium-sized mature feathers for plucking. The feathers must be physically plucked. Molted feathers cannot be used for this test. Very small feathers located under the wing are not recommended. Pluck four to six medium-sized feathers from the chest area of the bird and place them in a Ziploc bag. The quantity of feathers plucked is not as important as quality. Ensure that the feather tip, which is attached to the skin, is present. White coloration. Large feathers may contain some blood, which should be left on the feather. Sample only one bird's feather per Ziploc bag. Mark the bird's identification number, our name, directly on the bag with a magic marker. Alternately, place a piece of paper with the bird's name and species, species in the bag. Ensure that the submission form is properly filled out, including your name, address, and other contact information, as well as the bird's name and species. Price is $15 plus 13% HST for Canadian clients only. We're not going to do that. As you can see, four to six from the chest. Like, ow! Are you serious? I, I, no, I can't, I can't. Um, but what we are going to do is the blood collection. So let's read the instructions. It says, write the bird's ID and name on the card provided. Since the toenail is the easiest location to collect blood, 
wipe the furs nail with an alcohol swab and let dry five to ten seconds. So I do have rubbing alcohol here. I'm going to put it on a Q-tip and rub the bird's nail. Let wait five to ten seconds for it to dry, and then you're going to clip the nail short enough to allow bleeding. Avoid clipping it too high since this may be uncomfortable for the bird. If blood is not present, gently squeeze the toe until blood appears. Ensure that the toenail clipper is thoroughly cleaned with alcohol between birds. Allow a small amount of blood to bead up and carefully touch the corner of the card to the blood bead. Only one or two drops is required. Sample only one bird per card. Leave the card to dry for approximately 20 minutes at room temperature. Once the card is dry, place it into the small envelope provided, only one card per envelope. Once the samples have dried and the cards have been placed in their individual envelopes and sealed, the envelopes may be collected and placed into the mailing envelope provided. <clears throat> Ensure ID information is on the cards and the submission form. If you are not submitting the samples immediately, store the cards at room temperature in a dark, dry location. Cards can be stored in this fashion for several weeks. Price is $15 plus 13% HST for Canadian clients only. So, you know, you go to the vet, you're paying like 60 bucks just to DNA test your bird. So you don't have to. Now, the only problem that would come in is if you are uncomfortable clipping your bird's nails then you might have to go to the vet for it. But if you're not uncomfortable, then this is definitely a way to do it. It does suck to have to clip it a little bit shorter than um, usual, but what can you do? So I'm gonna fill out this form, and I'm gonna fill out this card, and we're gonna get the baby bird, and we're gonna um, get the blood for this. I'm also gonna get my quick stop. I have quick stop, which, um, basically is a powder I'll show you guys but uh, once I get the blood drops on this card I'm gonna put quick stop on the baby's nails just to make sure that there's no more blood that keeps on coming okay give me one second let me get baby okay so um, sorry baby I have the quick stop it's you guys see that there you go so that's what I put on. If I clip any other nails too short, that's what I put on. Here's baby. Baby loves to fly. I gave baby um, some peppers, chili peppers. So that's why baby's mouth is red. But here's baby, guys. So we're gonna clip baby's nails, which is nothing new. That's fine. Before I do that, let me just get down baby's ID. So I'm gonna put two two one one. Okay, we'll leave baby up there. So two two one one species is a rock conure, black cap conure. Um, because I don't have much space, I'm gonna just put rock conure. And owner so far is me. <laughs> and I do two two one one. You see a lot of babies. So step up. There you go. So I did teach baby step up before he goes home, so I don't have. Um, so then the owner knows who you know. Okay, guys, I know, I know. AAC. I think I'm going to put that AAC. So it's P as in P. I don't know if it's P, though. I'll just put it in here. Okay. So it's all ready for its thing. So let us sterilize. The nail clipper. I use a baby nail clipper. Oh, you want to stay in my hair? You can't stay.
stain my hair. You're actually messing up my hair. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You love to go on people's hair. You love to go on people's hair. Too much. Too much. Okay. I'm just going to take this first nail. Can I see that? And I'm just going to rub it. nails once since he was born and I haven't touched it again so I'm gonna click all the other nails because he does actually need a nail trim I know what is mommy doing to you what am I doing I'm making you clip your nails am I making you clip your nails yes I am you can stand this way Not on my head, thank you. Let go, let go. <laughs> All right, so for the sake of this video, because I don't want to keep you guys waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and clip his nail. And like I said, you're just gonna clip it a little bit shorter than you would actually want it to be. I know. What am I doing? I'm so sorry. I know. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mommy's got you. Mommy's got you. I'm going to go a little bit shorter than I would like. And then you guys are going to see a little bit of blood. So if you have wheezy stomach, I guess don't watch this video. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What am I restraining? Just a little bit, just a little bit. I know. Did I get it? <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not having it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay I know. I'm sorry. I know. Did it hurt? Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put him in a towel. Come here. He's flying. Okay. Let me get him. Hold on. Okay, guys, I got him back, but because <clears throat> he's gonna fly away on me, I have to put him in the towel for me to hold him. Unfortunately, so I'm just gonna put the towel around him. Okay. Our girl. I'm gonna hold. Okay, we're just gonna clip your nails. We're just gonna clip your nails. Alright, okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Hey, baby, just a little bit. Respect now. around with all the other nails except for the one. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. It's gonna hurt a little. It's gonna hurt a little. I'm warning you from now. I hate cutting. There we go. So you guys see the blood? Can you see that? Oh god, maybe not. Okay, anyways, there's a blood there.
and then two small drops. I wanted to get one more drop, but he's gone. So I'm gonna leave him alone because I don't want to do it again. But that's basically how you would get, um, that's how you would get the drops on your pad. You leave it for 20 minutes, let it dry, and then you send it on in. I prefer the big drops like this. I should have made bigger drops, but I'm not going to mess around with that anymore. And there you go. Put the quick stuff on it and he's good to go. Okay. And that's, we're going to find out if baby is a boy or a girl.